Good morning, booktube or YouTube or the world. I thought since I am very tired and I can't really, I'm here by myself. My wife uh, did errands this morning and then she was going to have lunch with some friends. And I wrote in my online diaries, uh, as I've mentioned, I have four online diaries. I write this, what I do is I write in my main one, which is in Live Journal, Crooked Fingers, and then I copy that and I paste that entry into my three other online diaries. I just do that. It's, it's no sweat. It's really easy. I basically write what I write in my online diary what I write in my paper diary. And we are coming to the end of the month of September. And I usually around the, I show you that I'm getting my October 2018 diary ready. As you all know, I, I get these from an office supply store, they're calendars. I rip it out. This is October. And then I have to cut the cut off the little tear marks so it will fit into my folders. So I do that. I've been doing this, I don't know. I think I started doing this maybe 42 years ago. 43. I thought about showing you guys my 1978 diary because uh, I burned from 1968 until 1977 diaries when I left California to go to Bible college. You know, as I mentioned, I burned the bridges, started a new life. So then I thought I would use use green for the month of October. So then I get a felt pen and then I write October. October. Two thousand eighteen. So I use, as you know, the first one I go from day one to day fifteen, and then the second one from day sixteen to the end of the month. So I don't like to cram the diary get too much in there. So So there's October and then I get this and then I put it in the folder. So yeah, it's it's always amazes me that we're coming to the 10th month. We're coming to the end of another year. We're going into the autumn season. We are in the autumn season. Uh, my wife and I were commenting this morning how the trees are already changing color. This morning we got up at seven o'clock, went out for breakfast. Then we went to the grocery store because my wife as you all know, leaves tomorrow morning with her girlfriend. Three, three of her girlfriends are going out to New Mexico for a week. Every every September they go out. They did they do something? So there is the diary. So my wife wanted to make sure that the cupboards were filled with food for her her old man. <laughs> me. I, I don't really, you know, as I mentioned, I don't like to eat. I don't like food. To me, it's, it's just a necessity. 
I find eating tedious and boring. So I don't really, I just eat a lot of starch. <laughs> That's my problem. If I just lived on fruits and vegetables, I'd become really skinny. But due to eating a lots of bread and cereals and things like that, I really cut down many years ago, not many years ago, I don't know how many years ago, five, six years ago, I cut down on a lot of things because, you know, I was eating a lot of cookies and Coke and cupcakes and my wife did bring home yesterday an almond coffee cake and can't resist that but so I got my October 2018 diary ready this morning I'm on page 784 the, it is September the 25th 2018 is a Tuesday morning here in West Michigan it is 1121 it is 73 degrees inside my cell. Outside, it, it has been rainy and damped. And it's supposed to get down into the 60s tomorrow, 63. But hopefully it'll be sunny. Or at least not gray and misty and damp. So this morning I didn't really get a chance to read my Christian books. Because we left seven o'clock when I got home from the grocery store with my wife we put away the groceries I wrote my paper diary I went online wrote in my online diaries looked at some booktube videos looked at the news checked my email but I uh, I read these I've been reading these I read these books uh, I read this a little bit this morning American Eden David Hasek, Botany and Medicine in the Garden of Early Republic by Victoria Johnson. I'll probably read this this afternoon. Uh, yesterday, I volunteered at the Book Nook, the library used bookstore, and I read Havoc by Tom Christensen. This thing is just gut-wrenching. It's just, I don't know. My wife says I shouldn't read it, especially when she's gone for a week, because it's so depressing. It's just, just, it's just gut-wrenching and then I read last night late into the night the unexpected professor in Oxford life and books by John Kerry I'm all I'm, I'm almost done with this and then I'm a I think I'm gonna read that John De Quincey biography I showed you and then I read yesterday American audacity and defense of literary daring by William Gerard so I read these yesterday and as I, as I wandered my cell and watched the birds and wrote in my diary and my wife, she, uh, she slept yesterday and she got up, she worked all night, she went out for breakfast, came home and I was at the book nook when I came home she was still sleeping, she got up and she went to visit and, her friend who lives in a retirement home facility. And then she got home around 5 o'clock and she went to bed around 8.30. And I read this until 11, 11.20, The Unexpected Professor John Kerry. I don't know what I'm going to do today. I, didn't, I hardly slept last night. I tossed and turned. Maybe it's because I was kind of a little anxious. I don't know. Unsettling my wife leaving for a week. Sense of ab abandonment. <laughs> I don't think so. But anyway, I'll probably sleep better tonight. Sleep alone. I sleep better when I'm sleeping alone. But I don't know. But I, I'll probably read American Eden for a while and I might read some Saints Everlasting Rest by Richard Baxter. I might read some other stuff. I don't know. So I hope you're having a good Tuesday day. Uh, I might make a video tonight when my wife is gone. I, I, I have a to be, to be read pile 
what I plan to read throughout the month of October. Uh, somebody mentioned, I mentioned by doing a video of the biographies I have bought but have not read. I got a stack of these biographies. I'm always buying biographies. If I see a biography, I just, and it's something I'm really interested in, a writer, a literary critic, a poet, painter, politician, journalist, a president, I'll just buy it. If it has good reviews, it looks authoritative, it looks well researched. Now this is like a biography, this one here, American Eden on David Hasek. And I like reading about all kinds of things. History of medicine, history of music, history of art, history of Christianity, the history of making violins, <laughs> pianos, guitars, all kinds of things. History of books. But enough of this rambling. I will sign off. I will write some more in my paper diary. I will, uh, I might just go sit in the, in, the in the living room and close my eyes and doze until my wife gets home because I hardly slept last night. So I'll sign off. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the new subscribers. Feel free to ask me questions. And until next time, bye.